Hello and welcome to the Knowledge Podcast series hosted by Broadcast and Film Magazine in collaboration with Adobe along with the Broadcast India show. Today we'll be interviewing Mr. Deepak Upadhyay, the founder of Red Eye Technologies, which is a well-known post-production studio. Welcome Deepak and thank you for taking out the time to be here with us today. Thank you so much. First of all, thank you for inviting me here. Pleasure. Yeah. So before I start, I would like to give a brief introduction about Deepak. Deepak has started as a Windows support engineer and after working a few months, shifted into Apple as Apple technical support engineer. In 2010, started working with OnePost Studio as video support engineer and in 2011, joined Prime Focus as assistant manager, broadcast and technology support. He was working for Star TV in Prime Focus and in 2013, along with his partner, they founded Red Eye and first project they got was for Sri Sri Ravi Shankar channel Anandam TV integration and joined there as a technical head. In 2015, he fully involved himself in Red Eye. So some of the major projects and achievements of Deepak include the migration of Star TV post-production workflow from Avid to FCP, tape to tapeless, Star Jalsa post integration in Prime Focus premises, Adobe implementation in Star Sports and work three months in Singapore during the launch of Star Sports, channel integration and setup of Anandam TV, live workflow integration for Sri Ravi Shankar and many more. Major projects and achievements of Red Eye. Red Eye is a master of long form reality show post-production. They have served more than 100 reality shows and serving Big Boss. Thousand. Sorry. More than 1,000 reality shows and serving Big Boss Hindi and regional across India on Adobe Premiere Pro. Recently, they have migrated Big Boss post workflow from FCP7 to Adobe Premiere with Progressive Scan 50. So I would like to start, Deepak, with a few questions. I mean, looking at your illustrious career in this industry, you, you, have, you come with the added advantage of being an engineer yeah. and now owning a facility. <laughs> so tell us, a bit more about your background. How how did you make the transition from an engineer to a facility? So, uh, as you mentioned uh, there, that we have uh, I have started as a CGen engineer, a broadcast desktop support engineer, and I have started. I came from very uh, I am ground uh, things. So I have started as a support engineer. But after that, uh, after working two years or something, uh, I have moved to Apple Free Channel. I have done Apple certification. And after that, uh, I have shifted from uh, Apple designers, uh, Apple support engineers to uh, as a video support engineer in one of the studio. And we did a lot of projects, uh, especially in reality shows uh, like uh, XM storages and all that. So we got a master in that. Mm -hmm. After that, I, I got the opportunity uh, when uh, the migration was happening from uh, Star TV to the PFT. Then I joined as assistant manager and I have uh, like ship uh, from SNP, uh, no, uh, masterpiece, sorry, Robin. the masterpiece facility, which is uh, there in Mandiri. Mandiri East, I remember that. Yeah, so I joined there. So okay. it was a very initial phase for Star TV. Uh, now it's in Urbi and all that. So I have started then, the, they were using Avid right. and it was a tape workflow. So, uh, with the uh, help of Neil, Mr. Neil, if you know. Uh, Neil Sandwil. Uh, Neil Sandwil. Uh, and uh, we were one of the support uh, uh, on-ground guy, And we have uh, migrated from uh, tape to tapeless. Okay. With the help of Neil. As well as uh, from Avid to FCP. Okay. So, they were using the uh, entire Windows uh, workflow. And we have shifted to Mac, Apple Mac. The MCP7. After some time, uh, when the sports came in picture, and we did multiple migrations like uh, or uh, and integration like Stars also and all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, uh, when Star Sports came in uh, picture, like in uh, like they were going to launch. So then I met Mr. Chetan uh, Adobe. And uh, then uh, we were discussing about the implementation of Adobe uh, in uh, media entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. Because 
I think uh, Star Sports is the big first big network for Adobe okay. to you know from uh, there is a big client for them at that time in two thousand and two thousand twelve I think two thousand twelve yeah two thousand twelve and after that uh, we we faced a lot of challenges mm -hmm. in implementing this uh, we got a lot of fight with the Adobe people and about the features about the problems even the uh, you know the in reengineering, uh, we have reengineered everything uh, for Adobe. Okay. And after uh, doing a lot of fights and everything, now finally uh, the Adobe product is stable. Like Premiere Pro is more stable than previous. Wow. At least it was. Okay, being a facility owner yourself, what are the challenges you and the editors face when they hire your facility for? So, being a facility owner, if you say, uh, what are the challenges we say we face? Red Eye is, mm, uh, since we founded Red Eye, and uh, Red Eye is known for mm. uh, transforming client challenges into comfort. Okay. So, as such, we don't face, and when Adobe uh, Premiere Pro came in picture, we, uh, the workflow and everything is very smooth. Okay. So, as such, we don't face uh, any issues. Challenges. Yeah. So, and, and what, what, what about the kind of support that you get from Adobe? How has that been? You know, uh, we are so uh, yeah. So for support point of view, we got uh, we get a lot of support uh, from Chetan and local team as well as uh, even Adobe also, because whatever we ask, mm -hmm. they 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 always try to uh, uh, you know integrate this in the system. When when we were uh, doing for uh, Star Sports, mm -hmm. we have asked them a lot of tools and features which they have uh, because of our suggestion they have integrated that uh, tools and features okay and in 2015 16 17 okay. when they have upgraded mm -hmm. they came up with the all these tools that's interesting yeah. so what are the workflow challenges and how does premier pro streamline the work yeah yeah earlier there was a lot of workflow challenges because when it was a standard definition mm -hmm. there was no mm -hmm such major issue which we are facing mm. but when the technology changed and people came from tape to tape place yeah. when multiple formats came in picture mm. Mm. multiple formats came in pictures and proprietary codec of camera manufacturers okay. as well as uh, the content demand from OTT uh, and uh, broadcasters mm. from like uh, even the quality uh, 4k 2k right so uh, yeah. Earlier, we were facing a lot of issues in MCP 7 mm -hmm. so uh, not an issue. Then after that, we have, uh, when we got to know about this uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and the streamlined workflow, mm -hmm. which Adobe is giving as of now, yeah. it's very fantastic. Like uh, yeah. when you use Adobe production, when you use Adobe audition, yeah. when you use Adobe Premiere Pro and uh, the Frame IO, it's a complete bundle mm -hmm. uh, which Adobe is giving us of now. Okay. And we don't face such challenges when we integrate everything with, with each other. See. Yes. So, and, uh, one more thing just I would like to add. So, when you see what are the challenges we were facing earlier, well, I told you that uh, multi format and Adobe Premiere Pro is a full of features. Okay. Full of features. Mm -hmm. And the work and place which uh, Adobe has, you can customize. I see. Yeah. It's available in FCP also, but FCP, uh, Premiere is uh, very good customizations options and very good features in terms of Adobe uh, audio editing as well as video and multi format support on mm -hmm. one timeline okay. on this. No, that's interesting. Yeah. So, I believe, uh, what value addition and automation have you developed for different type of projects? I understand that for reality shows, drama and musical cookery shows, you've custom designed something? Uh, yeah, uh, we developed one uh, uh, application uh, with my uh, development partner. Right. Uh, it's a meta logging uh, feature. Like, when you shoot uh, something, mm -hmm. when you shoot something, uh, like, uh, when you're shooting, you can directly tag on video okay. uh, on a live, uh, like like when you're uh, recording and recording is going on live, right. you can tag on video. 
Yes. So when when you tag on video later on, all the taggings will come, and the, you can put it on a timeline and do a rough cut. Okay. After that, you can send it to uh, offline uh, edits for the full. Uh, this application we are using in all big bosses. Oh, so, yeah. so when did you launch this? this we have launched uh, two years back. Oh, okay. Uh, two years so, back. so that's ease the workflow for Yeah, work. obviously it's very easy. Like, you know, uh, when any talkie show uh, or any cookery show or you can show, or like you can say like a big boss type mm-hmm. of format. Reality shows. The MIT shows, it's very difficult, you know, to uh, do a, a content uh, cut in um, 24 hours. So, when you're recording, while recording, mm-hmm. you can differentiate like uh, some of, some parts is like uh, the drama is happening, some abuse is or whatever. You can tag the content. Right. Yeah, it's very easy for creatives to, you know, make a decision. And all. Oh, that's interesting. So, uh, how is it helping you to provide more efficient services to your clients? So, today I understand Endemol is one of your big clients. Yes. So, no, Banishi. <laughs> and and who are the other clients you have? That no, no, as of now we are serving to all like uh, we are serving to Z, we are serving to uh, and all we so we are serving to uh, all major uh, post production like uh, all major production houses who produce reality shows. And okay. we are not only till Mumbai. We are serving in Hyderabad. We are serving in Bangalore. We are serving okay. in Chennai. So you have branches in all these? Yeah, yeah. You on big bosses we are doing there only. Okay. Yeah. So we are not serving uh, in the limited to Mumbai. Wow. Yeah. So so tell us something about the Endemol uh, setup, or the Premier Pro, which was integrated. If you can highlight some of yeah. them. So there was there was a lot of challenges when uh, we were discussing about implementation of uh, Adobe in big boss. Uh, so I have convinced uh, editors, right? So, and with the help of Chetan and all that, we have a multiple meeting with the post head no. and uh, the creatives and all that. After that, we did a testing, mm-hmm. and I have assured them, I I can do it for you. Give me a chance. So obviously they trusted me and given a chance. Mm-hmm. We have they designed an engineer re-engineering in the entire configuration what it's required in terms of Adobe to delivering this show. So we have even not upgraded software, we have upgraded hardware also. Oh, and yeah. yeah, we have upgraded hardware also. And then we did a first project to Big Boss OTT. Okay. Two years back, season two, I think. Huh? Season two, first Big Boss we did. Mm-hmm. And it was a successful. Mm-hmm. And we faced a lot of challenges, but my the, thanks to my uh, team, tech team, and all the support of editors and everything. So, we have successfully completed that. After that, then we have implemented in Big Boss Telugu, Big Boss Hindi, and slowly, slowly. Now, this time, we are doing uh, Fear Factor. Oh, Fear Factor on Adobe. Okay. Yeah, now now we have, and we are the only, uh, Red Eye is the only uh, organization who has transformed uh, uh, long form uh, from, uh, uh, long form editing so beast so I mean typically when I look at your uh, the kind of work that you've done ranging from long format shows to the sports also you've done yeah are you also looking at film editing in a big way, going into the future? Yeah, we uh, as Red Eye, we have uh, the supported and we have uh, given a lot of uh, in the supports and application supports and uh, we have been with a lot of films. Okay. The major films like Teen, Dangal, okay. and a lot of more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We have kind of cross production for them. So, so film is also a major segment. We have but. We are experts of reality. No, sure. Okay, that's your forte. Huh? That is my forte. Okay. And that is my organization forte, and along with my partner, Mr. Mm-hmm. Rahul Dolbert. We do all this shows, and we are core, uh, you can say it's a hardcore uh, reality guy. 
<laughs> we are known for this <laughs> and almost if you say experiences till now we have done more than uh, 1200 reality shows oh, wow. we have till now we have delivered 1200 reality shows and that was apart from big boss which are the other big like yeah 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 your yeah. factor you mentioned yeah fear factor big boss you name the reality show and your majority all, reality all of we have delivered wow. that's um, yeah so even in the regional segment yeah Hmm. So even the distant segment we have so, so you, you feel that's a huge market in reality show segment uh, yeah and you got the other yeah, film editing and all that in terms yeah, of yeah reality show is a, a studio market. market yeah the reality show is a huge market but it's required a lot of attention mm-hmm. a lot of expertise okay. you cannot compare uh, uh if reality show hardcore reality shows especially which happens on location not in our facility like all big bosses and everything happens on their own facility we, we do set up on their own facility and uh, we deliver the reality shows is especially a time bound show but he means you have to deliver at 6 o'clock means you have to deliver at 6 o'clock Correct. you cannot there's all really ha it can't be 6:30 or 6:05 no it's real time so is there any other project you would like to highlight in in terms of few views yeah in through. the big boss only after uh, implementing adobe in, in after that uh, they uh, came up with the 50p progressive scan mm-hmm. so we are the first who has implemented 50p uh, otherwise all the shows were happening on atlas mm-hmm. so we are the first who has implemented 50p successfully can okay. uh, big boss on the earth and long for the entity guys yeah So now looking at the future hmm. artificial intelligence is being touted yeah. as how do you see artificial intelligence making major changes do you see the work for in the coming years uh, yeah obviously but uh, not really for indian market okay because uh, the niche uh, india uh, the indian content has hmm. and the choices creative smek mm-hmm. it is very difficult to integrate with the ai and all that okay yeah but apart from this i'm just revealing here we are working on a complete cloud editing solution end to end which uh, very soon we are introducing with one of our partners okay yeah so it's a cloud editing uh, solution with the hybrid model Okay. like the content you can shoot anywhere you want okay and the content will be available on the cloud as well as a offline setups so wherever you want you can go and edit oh that's bian so uh, i am doing this with the help of one of our partners great is there anything else uh, you would like to talk about in terms of being a facility owner and and the way the market has transition from analog to digital you've seen the whole yeah. shift Yeah, correct. As as a hmm. last question, you know the the lot of things are moving. Like uh, the transition which is happening, if you see since last three four years, right? The major transitions are happening. Me. So the editing that the people who used to edit in uh, in studio they're coming, and now, like you say, then the, I was reading one of the report by two thousand thirty. Mm-hmm. Both majority. Uh, post production mm, will be on cloud yeah cloud is going to be okay. yeah cloud uh, is going to be biggest yeah. name change game chat and next and some music uh, thank you so much thank, thank you for your time thank you i'm wishing you all the best thank for your thank you for your project thank you take care